Okay, so I'm about to show you how you can make AI content sound human. Now, there's a lot of talk about this, and even if you should be doing it or if you shouldn't, but I'm gonna give you my take on it and I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do it too. So, why would you want to make the content sound human? Right? It's not that Google really values it being human or not, because at the end of the day, the only thing, the number one thing Google cares about is if the content is helpful for their users, right? Google doesn't care who or writes the content, right? Whether it's a human or a machine, they don't care. As long as the content is valuable to the users and it satisfies the search intent, it is pointless, right? It is doesn't really matter, again, who or what writes the content. Whether it's you typing it out or a human or a, a robot or, a, or both, right? They don't care. So making content sound more human isn't something that really Google values or devalues. It's more of a thing that we want to include this humanness or humanization into the articles because other humans are going to be reading the articles and people connect with people. So we need to make the articles sound like they were written by humans because humans like to read, um, read articles written by humans. Again, on the back end, knowing that making it sound human doesn't really tie in or it isn't really uh, isn't, really, isn't really important or it, it becomes pointless if it doesn't satisfy the user's search intent. So you can have a, a piece of media or a piece of content sound human, but if it's not valuable, if it doesn't satisfy the user's search intent, it is pointless to sound human, right? So again, you want to make sure it sounds human or you can make it sound human because ideally it will, do, it will perform better, but make it sound human while of course satisfying the user's search intent. Now. What's the best way, in my opinion, to make the content uh, more human or sound more human? Um, it is by tailoring it to the brand, right? And the brand, I mean, people, individual people are brands, right? Companies are brands and brands are made out of assets, right? Let's, for example, say this brand, let's talk about actual, actual business. Let's say this is a brand that sells, um, that sells gardening supplies, right? Their brand is made out of assets, right? Their website is an asset, right? Their LinkedIn page is an asset, uh, their Instagram, uh, any text documents, any audio documents, all of these, right, are brand assets, right? And if we apply this to, to a person, or sorry, a, and we can also apply this to a person, right? The person also has a personal brand, right? The way we speak, the way we carry ourselves, right? Our images, right? For example, uh, your images of your personal brand, how you look like, right? Um, the Your tone of voice, the way you speak, right? The way you carry yourself, all these are your, in this case, personal brand assets, right? And the best way to make the content sound more human is to make it brand tailored. So what you do is you need to give context Again, if you're writing content with AI, you need to give context to the AI of all of your brand's assets. So if you can plug in, right, you can plug all these assets, all these brand assets with the AI and give it context and make it so that the AI writes content that's not generic, right? Writes content that's brand tailored using your own brand's mannerisms, your brand's tone of voice. And again, when I mention brand, it can be a brand like a company brand or your own personal brand if you're writing as an individual, right? But again, if you're able to give the AI context about uh, your assets, right? Again, it's able to write brand tailored, non-generic AI content. Hopefully this makes sense. Now, how can you do it with ChatGPT? It's quite simple, right? Again, you need to give it context. So let's say, for example, I wanted to um, write a piece of article for, for, for this site right here. So what I would say first is I would say something like this, right? Uh, I want you to write an article about X, right? But first, I want you to learn about the brand as much as you can. Here's their site. And I'm using uh, ChatGPT 4, right? It's paid version, but you can use 3.5. I think 3.5 also browses the web. Here's their site. Oh, here's their, so, sorry, their site. Okay, browse it and take a look at their tone of voice, right? their brands, images, or actually the brand, the, this ChatGPT, I'll show you an AI that actually can take a look at the images and all that, but you can do something like this. Browse the, take a look at the tone of voice, um, the way the brand carries itself, their mannerisms, and anything else you feel like is important to write an article that's non-generic, but instead brand 
tailored. Now, you can play around with the prompt and change the prompt, prompts around. My goal here is to give you a perfect prompt. My goal is to teach you how you can do it, how, how you should be doing it based on what my opinion is, right? Again, the whole goal here is to give the AI as much context as you can, right? And not just some random context, but in this case, brand context. Whether that's an actual business or a personal brand, you give it context based on the individual brand's assets, a site, a LinkedIn page, a Twitter, some audio documents, some text documents, PDFs, whatever, anything you can, right? The more brand context, the more you can make the AI be brand aware, right? The more it's able to speak with your mannerisms, speak in your tone of voice, use your images and all that for you, right? Now, again, you can use a paid tool like Journalist AI, uh, which allows you to go here to knowledge base and upload all these, all your brand's assets. If I go here to create a knowledge base, I can name this uh, my brand, right? I can create knowledge base and I can upload, if I go here, my brand, all of these um, assets, right? At the moment, you can upload uh, plain text documents. You can upload PDF documents. You can link your site. In the future, you'll be able to link YouTube videos, audio files, uh, video files, as many assets as you possibly can feed to the AI, right? You're feeding these assets to the AI, right? All your brand's assets. So it knows how your brand carries itself, its mannerisms, its tone of voice, its images, how to speak, how not to speak, how not to speak, what things it mentions, what thing it doesn't mention. For example, if we were Coca-Cola, we would never mention or we avoid mentioning Pepsi or any other competitors in our uh, in our articles, right? But for example, if we were another brand that usually speaks about the competition, right, we'd need to give this context to the AI so it knows that when writing new articles, because prior 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 assets show that this brand speaks about competitors, new articles also speak about competitors. Hopefully this makes sense. Again, it's all about the context, right? And again, the way you make it sound human is always focusing first on making the content valuable, right? And satisfying the user's search intent, right? Being helpful content, right? On top of that, to make it sound human, it's to make it sound brand tailored. And again, a human is a brand, right? When I say brand tailored, it's tailored to you as a person, personal brand, or you as a business, like a quote unquote regular brand, right? So hopefully this makes sense. Um, this is how we do it. Just plug this in here, then you go to generate articles. I'll show you actually how this looks like here. If I just type in golden, because I did generate a couple of articles oh, a couple of weeks back about the, in the, on this niche, right? This is all done with AI, right? The featured image, the table of contents, the proper content structure within article images, internal links, uh, external links right here, linking out to other sites. Uh, in article images, there's even in article videos that are relevant to what the content is about, right? This is a, a video about uh, grooming golden retriever, which is in line with what the content is about. This is an external link, linking with the anchor being nail clippers, and again, links out to an article about about that. Um, there's also links to other articles, and again, I can skim through these ones, right? And um, if I want, these are a bit more generic, right? But if I wanted these to be brand tailored, right, with proper sections dedicated to my brand, I can do so. And if I, for example, had a Shopify store and I want, I wanted to uh, link down here to a couple of my products, I could do that as well. But you have to give it brand context. Quite simple. Just go to generate articles right here and go to the knowledge tab and select the knowledge base here, right? And the AI will take all this input right here, all this input right here. If you want videos, if you want images, if you want links, a bunch more stuff, which I won't dive to it right now. But most importantly, it will take the knowledge base about your personal brand or quote unquote regular brand and will produce it will produce, sorry, non-generic, non-bland AI content, but instead brand tailored content with your own brand's mannerisms, your brand's voice, your brand's images, and all that. So again, this is how you make content sound human. It's not so much about the way you write, right? The words you use, but it's more about the context in which you're writing from, right? Hopefully this makes sense. If you have any questions, let me know. And again, keep in mind that sounding human isn't really the main focus here. The main focus is making it be uh, helpful, right? And um, satisfying the user search intent while being tailored to your brand, right? Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.